Hello students, uh, welcome to my channel as uh, today we look at change of place of uh, logarithms. So we say when you have a logarithm to the base of p, then that logarithm can be changed to a different base uh, that is n and uh, we shall use a formula. Uh, so we shall use a formula which is given by, so we are given a logarithm to base p. So let's say logarithm of a number m to base p, we can change this logarithm to a different base using this formula. So we shall have, now putting everything to the same uh, base, so we shall have log of n m over log uh, of n uh, p. So, if you have a logarithm of a number to base p, we can change the base, uh, our base here, by introducing a different base, but now writing it as a log of the number divided by the log of the, which was previously our base, but now we introduce a new base, a new base n. So we have this. Also, uh, log of p, log of m, sorry, to base p, can also be rewritten. You can interchange the position of m and the position of p by writing this as a reciprocal. So this can also be written as the log of m then p. So you can interchange the base. You can have this formula. So we have these two formulas which are, can be used to change the base. So one, we have a log of m at base p. So introduce a common base. Introduce a common base, then m, then a log of p. Then or the log of p, uh, the log of m to base p can change. When you change now the log, uh, the, the number itself at the base, you write it as a, as a reciprocal. So one over then the log, you interchange the position of p and the position uh, of m. So we can use this also to evaluate um, to evaluate logarithms. So we shall use, let's take an example of the first one on how it can be used to solve uh, logarithms. Now, example. So normally, so let's say we are solving log of uh, 5 to 125. So log 5, 125. Now, normally, as we have seen before, you are supposed to find the power in which this base must be raised for you to get 125. And we know that the answer for this should be 3. But now using the change of base, we can change this, you can change your logarithm uh, to a common base between uh, the two. And now the most suitable base to change uh, logarithms is always to base 10. You can always change logarithms to the base uh, of 10. Or else, you can always change again. If the two numbers are related, change the base to the simplest base that you have. So for example here, we can have uh, 5. So we can take it in two ways. So one, let's change this to the base of 10. So it is upon you to choose uh, which one is convenient. So let's start by changing to the base of 10. So solution. So from the law there, we know log uh, 5, 125. We say, change it to the log of 10. So we can say log to base 10, then 125. Again, 5 can be written in terms of uh, base of uh, 125 can be written in terms of the base of 5. So, therefore, we have a log of 10. Uh, this is 5 cubed. Then, log of 10. Then, we have what? We have 5. Then, remember by the laws of logarithms, you can draw uh, this one at uh, the power. So, 3 log 10. 
this and this is one and the same thing. So you can sort it out and you remain your answer to the three. So you can see we have used the knowledge of changing the base and we have still gotten the same same answer of just uh, putting this to a certain term x and getting the value. So five when you raise it to power three, then it gives you 125. Now, what about uh, using a different base? You can use a base of 5. So, in one or the other, the base should be a multiple, should be, uh, should be a number which can be raised to a certain power to give you the number that are present in your logarithm. So, method 2. You can use uh, the method 2. And we say we have log 125. Uh, to this 5. Uh, so now let's uh, write them in terms of the log of 5. So we know uh, this one can be written. So we put it as this 5. Again 125. Then log of 5 uh, this 5. So uh, so remember, so that these and these are always the same. So it's just 125 here. And we have uh, 5 of the denominator. Again, using the laws of logarithms, this one again can be written as cubed, then the log of 5 at 5, then drop again, 3, log of 5, uh, then log of 5 to this 5. Now, from the laws of logarithms, you know one thing. You know one thing from the laws of logarithm that if you have a number, then the base and the number, the logarithm of a number, and uh, the number is equivalent to the base, then this one just becomes 1. So the log of 5 to 5 becomes 1, the log of 5 to 5 becomes 1. Or else you can just cancel the two of them. But using that law, we know this one is 1, this one is 1. So therefore, 3, then this one 1, and 1, therefore your answer just remains to be, remains to be 3. So you can change the the logs, you can change uh, the basis, when you change the base, then evaluating it, you can see we find it to be one and the same, uh, same thing. So basically, when it comes to a uh, change of base, then this uh, is what we're supposed to be doing. So let's take a second example and evaluate it and uh, see if it really gives us one and the same thing. So example number two. So example two, let's uh, have this. Uh, let's take a log of uh, 343 and to base of seven. So we solve this uh, by the change of base. So we know the solution. This one, so we put it to either base 10 or uh, base 7, which, uh, whichever is convenient. So for our case, let's choose base 7. So then we say log 7, uh, 3, 43, then log 7, uh, 3, then log 7, then the number 7. So log of this number and the log of this number. Uh, therefore, uh, this is the same as same one. So we have uh, 343 can be written as 7 to power 3. So this one is log of 7, then 7 to power 3 over log of 7 to 7. Uh, so this one is 3. Uh, Dropping the, the power and log of 7 to power 7 over log 7, uh, 7 to power 7. Again, using uh, the law of index, uh, yeah, the law of logarithms. If you have a number, if you have the logarithm of a number which is the same as the base, this one simplifies to become one, and this one becomes one. So therefore, again, our solution is what? Our solution there is, is three. So we shall check more examples as we now do our logarithmic uh, equations. So here we shall find now all the laws that we shall uh, we have handled and we have seen 
and how to apply them respectively. Uh, so remember again, subscribe, share, like, and also comment. Thank you, and see you in the next video.